All right, we're back with Shroud the Avatar, and I'm going to do some uh, master working. Now I've already gone to the bank and picked up a few weapons and some ingots, silver ingots. And I chose all my plus ones uh, just in case they survive. I might be able to either use them myself or sell them. So now we're gonna run over here. Hopefully, this guy, who owns this place, has. Uh, some tables set up here. So you basically, uh, since these are swords, we're going to the blacksmith station. That'd be fair. I'm uh, looking at my my skills for blacksmith. Um, so masterworking is used off the masterworking skill, and this skill right here uh, is just your success chance. So the higher this is, the higher success chance. For better bonuses on those success chances, is the specializations below here. So right now I don't have specializations, so I'm going to get the lowest possible bonuses every time I enchant. Um, and uh, I have relatively low skill, so chance of success is you know, greatly diminished, especially the higher I the higher I go. Um, and if you fail, one thing to note when you I'm actually working, if you fail, you lose the item, you lose everything that you that you use to try and make it. So Scroll down here to master working. Oh, past it. There's, oh, there's somewhere there is. All right. In fact, let's just put it up here so I don't have to worry about it. All right. Here we go on our quest to masterwork. Um, blacksmithing masterworking. All right. So this has a. Why does it only have 90? I want to masterwork that sword. Let's masterwork uh, 150. I'm not sure why that one has 90 and it's a plus one. Oh, because it already has an enchantment. I see. But still, that should only be negative 10 durability. Oh, but it put a plus one on it. Okay. So it used to, I, I could have swore a lot when I, when I first started the game. Um, Putting uh, yeah, the plus one was reserved only for um, uh, when you when you crit it on creation, and then when you put uh, uh, an enchantment or a master or an, or a masterwork on it, it, immediately went to like plus two or something. So that's why that that's like that. So obviously we can't do this here. So let's take the ninety off for now. Actually, two nineties of a long sort of ninety that has again plus two strength, so it's been enchanted as well. Hmm. We'll look at that in a minute. So, oh, so one thing to note is, so I have an eighty-five percent chance of success. If I put, if I do put one of those nineties on there, and look at it, it has an eighty-five percent chance chance of success, even though it's already been enchanted. So, uh, so enchanting and masterwork have two separate um, success chance um, trees. So that allows you basically to potentially enchant and masterwork four times each basically for the most part um, successfully anyway so and once I once you do enchant so we'll take this plus one sword and we'll enchant right now 85% hopefully make it um, you'll notice that in the second chance well and of course you get the warning you'll lose this if, if you're, you know if you fail are you sure you want to do this Yes, of course I do. And we succeeded. Now on success, you get um, you get an op you get three options. Okay, masterworking improves basically the stats of the item being masterworked. Uh, so in this can this case, I get damage, damage, and crit. Uh, these are three random effects that you get to choose from. Um, I heard that I haven't experienced it yet, but I understand that you can get, um, based on the weapon, you can get ability bonuses as well. So this is a long sword, so I could get blade um, ability bonuses. I haven't seen that yet, so um, I'm sure I guess it's a higher level bonus um, effect. Now the the quality of this, like 2.5, 0.2, and 5, that value. Uh, is determined by your specialization 
you go back to the, the tree, your specialization value. Okay, I know I explained it earlier. So basically, um, this first one, masterwork, is for success chance, and these are for your bonuses. And uh, I've heard that the threshold is like level 32 where you start to get the higher bonuses, but um, it also seems to be progressive. So it starts off small and the higher you get the skill, the higher the bonus. So it might start at 0.2 and it, you know, you get a few more skills and you get 0 0.21, 0 0.24 or whatever if they go into that, that um, range. But it might be like, you know, 0.2, then it gets a 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So the higher you go, the better the bonuses. And also, of course, the higher you go, once you reach a certain thr threshold, you go into, um, these are essentially lesser uh, bonuses. You start going into um, greater bonuses where it costs negative 20 durability. But instead of 2.5%, you get 5% you know, increase kind of thing. So the advantage of that, of course, is obvious that uh, you can get more bonuses, you know, more bonus total for each step. So right now I'm getting the minors, and, and no matter how many times I upgrade this, I'm only going to get minor bonuses. So this copper, this you know, even if I made this you know four times, and I got like this is a, turns into a plus seven or something, my plus seven is going to be less than someone who has really high skills here. Their plus seven. So you have to watch that when you're buying. Now. This is a copper long sword, so I'm gonna go with crit chance. It's already a crit sword if you hover over it. See, six percent crit chance. Uh, crit chance. So I'm just gonna keep going with that crit chance on this. So let's let's choose that and then choose, and it gave it plus two points. So now I have. Um, oh, was that crit damage? I guess that was crit damage. But I'm, no point. I'm gonna keep the the crit. So. Um, and if you hit control on that, it'll break it down. You can see, oh, so you got this from the blade, this from the hilt, this from an exceptional bonus, and this from master working. All right. Now, let's close all this stuff. Let's do it again. Put my plus three sword in there, go again. Now I only have a 58% chance of success. Um, So we could do it, but before we do that, you know, let's just let's do try and do all these 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 regular ones first. So we craft. Yes. Yes. Come on, don't lose the sword. Oh, I made it. All right. So again, uh, now I got weapon crit, weapon damage, and strength damage. I'm just gonna go with crit. All these copper swords, I'm just gonna do crit, crit damage. So we choose it, hit select. Now when we hover over it, we did get the plus three, and now we have an eight percent chance or crit chance bonus. Alright, let's take that sword off. Um, take it off. And let's try this other one here. And craft again. And of course I'm gaining skill as we go. Please don't fail. Ah, okay. So looks like I got the same type of bonuses, so it's just gonna do crit chance again choose nice all right um, I only have so much silver and it costs five ingots each uh, five ingots is basically 40 um, silver ore so it's relatively expensive to to inch to masterwork um, items all right so let's hold off on those let's do these plus one iron swords oh, double click and then drag the sword over. The reason I'm double clicking is so I don't have to switch and grab the items individually, even though, yeah, it's not that hard, but. All right, here we go. Come on. You can do it. Uh, nice. All right, now iron swords are weapon damage bonuses. So I can either go 0 0.2 or 2.5. Now, I'm not gonna do the math here um, at the moment. But you know, it kind of depends. The higher you know your skills are, the 2.5 probably make more of a difference. Um, but I'm just going to get the 2.2 flat for now. All right. Now we look at it. Now it's 1.3 because it had 1.1. It's 1.3 weapon damage. All right. Let's take all. Let's double click, and we'll put the uh, oops. Put this other plus one up there. And you can drag it from here or here. Let's drag it up. All right. Oh, there. Didn't 
you want to register it. But it registered now. So here we go with our next chance, our fifth chance. Let's see what we get. I haven't lost one yet. Now is not the time to start, right? Yay. Okay. And I got basically the same chances. Now we're just going to do the flat again. All right. So now looking at it, we got a bunch of plus threes. That's good. And we only lost 10 durability each. That's good. Do have these 90s? Um, they're only plus ones, and we have six more chances. So, you know what? Let's just go for it. You know, let's put this put this in. Just double click here, and we'll just do the plus three. Yeah. So, at 59% chance. Well, there were, well, I'm already level 21, so it looks like based on how far I am, I'll I'll level up regardless. But all right, here we go. 59% chance. Ah, uh, come on, don't fail, don't fail. Yay! And you can see the second chance does have a slight increase in in chance or in quality here. But only slightly. You know, two you know, two point one percent crit chance. These are all crit. So um I'm probably gonna go with the straight up damage again with two point six uh two point six weapon strength bonus. So we'll choose that. Now it made it a plus five, gave it another plus two. Now with weapons, for for whatever reason, the um, the the bonuses don't show up in the stats. So it still says it's default six to eight damage, um, thirteen percent crit. So, but with armor, you um, with armor resistance, you you see the difference. So there's that. Let's try and upgrade the other plus three. Maybe we can get a better bonus, like another damage bonus. All that. All right, and now I have a 60% chance because I leveled up to 22. Yay. All right, here we go. Oh, we lost the sword. Darn. But, okay, we got metal scraps, right? Totally worth it. Huh. Or not. Um, you know what? Let's just go over it again. Plus five, 26% chance success. Yeah, you only live once, right? Let's go for it again. Come on. Uh, and we succeeded. Yeah. All right. So we got crit, crit, and uh, a pure weapon damage. So we'll do the pure weapon damage because that was what I was going for. So now it's a plus seven sword. Um, and if you look, so now you can see we've got 2.8% weapon damage, 2.6 weapon strength damage. 1.3 weapon damage, and we're still 120 durability. Um, if I were to try again, I only have a 7% chance to make the seventh or to make the fourth. Uh, the fourth, and we are not attempting that. So, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> but we can move on to these these copper swords. I'm gonna put that in there. Double click on that. Uh, wants to pull that iron for some reason, but put it in there. All right. We go what level am I 23 I really want to get that to 40 all right 60% chance I could lose all three of these or I only have two more chances because I only have five more ingots but 10 more ingots total but oh, we made it nice all right so we're on copper so this one has a only the weapon crit chance bonus and the only one that would affect it is this one. So that's weapon damage, but we'll add it on there. So now we effectively almost have the equivalent of a bra of a bronze sword now. All right, and let's take all. Let's do the next copper sword. Well, again, double click, and then we'll manually transfer. Uh, let's go uh, this copper sword right here. All right, sixty percent chance craft. Come on, we've had decent luck so far. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we win again. All right. And again, this one just has straight crit chance. So we've got critical damage, weapon damage. So it's, again, same as the other one. All right. Takes so it now. Actually, both these plus fives are exactly the same. That's cool. All right. And we have one more chance. Let's go with that other copper sword. So one more chance, 61% chance. We're getting better. What level will I make? 25. All right. I've had good luck so far. Come on. You can do it. 
You can do it. And we made it again. Nice. Oh. So this one has crit damage, crit chance, and we only have damage options here. Um, yeah, the other swords we went pure damage. This time we're just gonna go uh, largely pure damage. We're gonna do 2.6 weapon damage increase. Choose. Now we have plus five, and it has all those bonuses. We're gonna take all, and if we hit Control on that, it'll break it down for us so we can see what everything we have. Um, you know what we've what we've gained, which isn't bad. See, the hilt was one percent chance and the five percent chance for the blade. So, all right. So that is masterworking, and there are three types of masterworking: uh, blacksmith, which is um, metal armors, so uh, chain and plate, uh, shields and blade weapons, and then you have over here. Oh, right here you have carpentry this is essentially um, uh, the wooden style weapons wands uh, staffs bows and also the bludgeon weapons so um, you know your, your axes your maces your war hammers um, your halberds your spears they would all go into that category um, for that master working and then you have your tailoring and this would be your leather armors your your cloth armors so three types of master working and three tables and they all use the same the same I'm pretty sure they use the same ingredients <laughs> let's check real fast which is silver and just the item so yep just silver and the item so it's the exact same you know, chance of uh, items regardless of what what type of mass working you're doing but um yeah we didn't do too bad overall you know we came out with only one failure and a, some really good values here uh, my next video is going to be enchanting and I'm going to enchant these these uh, three items I'm gonna put these two swords in the bank for now and I'm gonna take my luck on that so that'll be the next video see you guys in